What is up guys, Mindy here. Just a quick update on the situation. <coughs> um, feeling pretty good now, uh, but the past month was a little bit weird. Um, the tournament in Natalia World Championships didn't go too well. Um, many mistakes done by me overall somehow didn't feel at my best um, during the past month um, just had a couple of trips you know all these flights uh, I guess they make you tired a little bit or maybe it's just autumn feeling a bit uh, maybe all these viruses are waking up so what I'm trying to say is that I didn't feel at my best lately. Uh, but now, since a couple of days, uh, I'm feeling actually really good. I'm getting back, getting my confidence back. And I guess it's a good time to feel better because I'm gonna fight uh, Justin soon. Another three weeks before the match, East versus West 5. So yeah, I'm basically training pretty hard, um, eating a lot, trying to just gain weight. This is actually the first time ever in my life I bought some uh, like weight gainer, mass gainer, meaning some, uh, some powder of, of calories. This is the first time ever for, uh, for me to do it. Because I thought, hmm, maybe, maybe I should, maybe it will help me to add another kilo. Uh, so yeah, otherwise, I was thinking about some mistakes which I made during the World Championships. None of them are really affecting the match with Justin, I guess. But... Um, uh, I just noted some lessons to myself, which of course I knew before, but you, you just keep forgetting them. Um, and let me try to remember, maybe they could be useful to you as well. Um, these tournament type of events, they really require you to, um, to hit hard. It's a big disadvantage if you are only catching because then you end up catching everyone and all of the guys can just explode on you as, as hard as we want so uh, to anyone who wants to be good in the tournament type of format i would suggest to train some move which you are comfortable to do off the go and not on and um, try to be comfortable at uh, being completely loose and then hitting hard in some direction so for example um, yeah if you are going for triceps just be loose you know have some rubber band explode out of a uh, completely loose position or in my case i would probably do something like this where i just like <clears throat> This is my preferred way to initiate the match, you know. Because you both, like, you will hit, your, your opponent will hit, and then you will end up somewhere kind of in the middle, instead of you catching a bit too low. <clears throat> so I would really recommend guys to be able to become comfortable at uh, shooting out of the, the loose, loose arm, right? And you can you can obviously do well without it, but <clears throat> it makes you feel so much more comfortable. Because me being so static lately, like uh, mm, <clears throat> it it didn't feel good. It didn't feel good that people kept uh, jumping on me. Um, what else did I learn? Mm. 
yeah, tournament type of events, I would suggest, yeah, I remember telling to myself that ah, Minda, you should give up to Daniel and then you should deal the rest of the guys first and then come come back in the, let's say, finals. But I didn't do it. And why didn't I do it? It's mostly because right before the match, me and some Lithuanian teammates, we were talking about, you know, it's, it's a high level event. There are many people in the event who are almost equally as good as Daniel. For example, so Daniel, Yanis, um, some Kazakhstan guys, Armenian guys, uh, so multiple guys who are all pretty much on the same level. And uh, so my teammates told me that, hmm, why would you give up to Daniel if there are um, plenty of other equally good guys? You know, you should probably fight because you never know, maybe Daniel is actually not, not the best at the, on that day. Maybe it's someone else, so... And I thought, hmm, sounds, sounds logical. And I kept fighting for a bit. But that's a big mistake, actually. Because uh, if you recognize a guy with some style, which is not... which is um, countering your style. So, for example, in my case, Daniel is really hard countering my top role with him just being pretty good statically, being able to let his words go a little bit. Um, so in my case, even though, let's say Daniel might, might not be far away from the other guys, he is still, it's still much better for me to give up to him because I can most likely beat the rest of the guys much easier just because of the styles. So basically that's a big mistake I made and I will probably not repeat it next time, hopefully. But yeah, just some some lessons like these. Uh, it's always good to, um, to good to know. I'm not, not sure if any of them will help me against Justin, but But that's mostly for you guys. And yeah, what about Justin, right? Yeah, I wonder how confident is Justin? Does he really think he can... Uh, he can give me a match? I don't want to be too confident myself anymore because... Uh, well, it's a sport, every, everything I, might happen. Normally, I'm, that's why the reason why I'm so serious about these preparations and diets and everything else. Because if you make if you make some small mistakes, your level might be so different on on the day, right? So it really depends on on your condition on the day. I will try to just eat well, be heavy. And um, luckily, I feel like I have so many advantages against Justin. Justin kept, uh, Justin couldn't un really understand why do I call him slow. I guess I can, I can try to explain. Like, it's not like, uh, it's not like he's slow. He's simply not as fast as some of the other crazy fast guys and that you know that if you are not if you are kind of average fast your speed becomes not a, not really a big issue anymore you must be really just light, lightning fast if you want to be annoying fast you know just normal fast isn't is okay that's what i mostly meant mm. He has to lose some weight, right? I don't have to. I will keep eating. Um, that will probably... It's difficult for him to manage the endurance aspect of it when you lose weight. Um, he has a long trip to make. 
My trip is only like three hours direct flight. Should be pretty easy. Um, yes, he's a strong type of guy. And you see, like, that's so he's basically the same like me, and that's what we like we normally know. But if we can, if we have uh, some time to kind of adjust and get into the match, then uh, I can see me and Justin, we are both confident and we are stronger than the other one. I guess we will find, we will find out who is who is actually stronger. Might be Justin. But I saw him practicing with um, Artem, top hooking. Um, I know Artem is good now, but he didn't—he didn't really look too impressive to me. So that's good. It doesn't seem like Justin is crazy good at the moment. And as long as he is normal, I feel like I should make him tired at least. So yeah, basically Justin has to deal with endurance, which I think is, will be a problem to him. And then, if I start losing, I always have this um, flop wrist press, which worked pretty well recently. Um, so even in this worst case scenario where I cannot control my wrist, I still have another weapon. Mm. Yeah, I feel like this WAF buff just really sharpened my um, my technique a little bit. I feel like I will be able to really engage very quickly and correctly. So that's good. What else? Let me remember. I think I had many more advantages. Yeah, stylistically, again, Justin is just um, not, him not being able to hook allows me to somehow not worry about it that much. I can focus on our things. And again, yeah, might, he might be able to hook, but as long as it's not it's not a crazy but by a hook, um, it's just not that uh, dangerous. That's why. I'm saying that you cannot really hook. Mm. So it's just the top roll. And Justin's top roll, as I noticed, is a little bit... It's a lot of posting, right? Which... Um, I don't want to reveal too much, but... some There are some things which you can do to really make it difficult for the guy. So yeah, let's see how it goes. I'm happy to finally start to feel like my immune system is waking up and now I can just recover. The past month was a bit difficult, annoying, feeling a bit down all the time. Now I'm feeling much better. Nothing is visible. Okay, see you guys next time. Sorry for this slow and long talk, but uh, it is what it is. Ciao.